Hello learners. Till week 11, we have learned many topics. Now in this week, we'll be learning the assessment of income, taxable income of individuals. As in the uh, section two, subsection 31, we have seen persons and the number one person is the individuals. So this week we will devote, that is how the taxable income of an individual is computed under the Income Tax Act. Here, we will discuss mainly the computation of income. We will devote time to make you understand the step-by-step -step calculations of the income of individuals right from the aggregation of total income under different heads, salary, house property, capital gains, profits and uh, gains of business profit and other sources, then how an individual's taxable income is calculated. We will also see the deductions from gross total income, though we have a chapter here of deductions from gross total income and we have already elaborately discussed the various sections which are there under section 80, here again, we will repeat the deductions which are exclusively for individuals. In the previous discussion, we have done it for all categories of persons, but here only the deductions which are available for individuals will be again discussed. Then we will discuss the deductions from tax liability. There are certain rebates which are given under section 87A, and in the recent budget also there has been some amendment under section 87a then we will see the relief under section 89 in case of area salary etc the relief can be claimed and also we will see the relief for double taxation under section 90 90a and 91 then we will discuss some problems and solutions to make you understand the taxability of income of individuals. Hope you will enjoy week 12 and learn the process of computation of taxable income of individuals. Thank you and enjoy the week.